We're back with Richard uh, Southern chatting about some of the day's more interesting stories, and we're getting another set of incredible images from NASA. Richard, you know I always love these. We love to sit around the newsroom and just like look at this. This is nice. actually the best of. They're take, they've take the, taken the new James Webb pictures, the Hubble pictures, and an X-ray observatory. They've combined them all to get Beautiful. some of these. Stunning. Stunning. We're looking at a nebula, a star cluster. Uh, there's a, a spiral galaxy 60 million light years from Earth. There's also the pillars of creation we're looking at there, which is a dense area of young stars. It's the universe like we've never seen it before, Erica. It's just so incredible to think about it, and it's out there, but it's, it's almost hard to believe that that's what's out there. We're know? so small and insignificant. We are. Anytime you're stressed out, just think about how small we are in comparison. It's, it's helping. <laughs> it's those... relieving my stress there already. There you go. Yeah, don't be stressed. Okay, are teens and malls a bad mix? Some shopping centers are launching a crackdown. Uh-oh. In the United States, they are, uh, including like one of the biggest malls in New Jersey. If you're under 18, you have to be with a chaperone to go to the mall. And they're blaming this. I don't know if this is right. They're blaming this, Erica, on TikTok. Uh, the mall said they have seen large groups of young people running through their property, sometimes fighting, and then putting it on TikTok. Oh, no. You think that's true, or is it just maybe they're just pointing the... I'm not sure. I mean, TikTok works on algorithms, right? If that's happening, I don't see it on my, you know, TikTok, but... I also didn't think, is it cool to hang out at the mall? Like, I don't want to... It's always to go to the mall cool. anymore. That's the thing with teenagers. You hang out at malls and just... Is that still the thing? Because you don't have money to buy anything. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, so... Oh, well. Okay. A Canadian has won a bizarre sporting event, but can you really consider this a win? You ever seen the cheese roll that they do in England? They... Put a wheel of cheese and then you chase after it and you basically tumble I've down. I've never the... heard of this before, but it sounds great. <laughs> Our director was just saying there's a, there's a big documentary about this, apparently, that I gotta find. But, anyways, the crazy cheese roll that happens every year in England. This year, a Canadian, <laughs> we're seeing here, didn't end well for her, but a Canadian won. She came down the hill first. She came down unconscious, though. She knocked herself out. Oh, no, my goodness. Didn't find out that she won. There she is, there, poor thing. Oh, she didn't find out that she won until she woke up in the medical tent, Erica. Oh, wow. <laughs> Uh, Dana Lee Irving, a 19-year-old, she said um, uh, she's uh, she's okay. She's awake and she's okay, but she doesn't remember the cheese roll. Oh, I'm glad she's okay, but uh, yeah, the things we do for cheese. You and I should try this. We jumped in the lake for uh, this segment years ago. Maybe we should go do the cheese that, roll that next hurts. time. That hurts. That looks like that's painful. The lake wasn't painful. That was that was painful. It was just cold. Anyways, okay. Thanks, Richard. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs>